Oh, babe, can you make me coffee, please? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. That was an act. Yeah. <laughs> we were acting. <laughs> so people have been wondering about how you can find people like you, or like people to talk to, or just the community. Yeah, being myself from a small town, and we can be really lonely at times, not having friends like yourself to talk to, and to connect. I personally like found solace early on to connect with people that are gay like me, and it wasn't always a hookup. I actually grew friendships from there as well. I feel like when I was young, it was really important to find myself a community. Yeah, totally. And for myself, even when I went to Japan, that's how I met uh, some of my good friends, like one of my best friends, Wendell, I met through an app like that. So thank you, Pipe, for sponsoring this week's video. It's a brand new app that just launched with fresh faces. The photos on the app are designed to show full screen. With no bots and all real men. So we invite you to download Pipe. Uh, who knows, you might find your true love. The app is available on Android and iPhone. Go and download it today. First stop of our day is a trip to Safari. This is our first time taking Brutus here. He's been such a good pup lately, and we wanted to reward him with treats and toys. Look at this. It's like a jungle here. This is Brutus Disneyland. <laughs> Welcome to Disneyland, Brutus. This place is like a freaking theme park. Every time I enter, my heart skips a beat, and I'm transported back to when I was five. They even put play Disney music here. That's so fun. Please. Those in favor of us getting another puppy, please say I. Pick whichever one you want. Pick one. Hmm? Which one do you want? <laughs> you settle on the frisbee. frisbee. So we can play outside with him. Literally my favorite cuisine, Mexican. So we were gonna stay home and chill, but Max's coworker offered to take us to like an Asian supermarket so we can get Asian stuff. We haven't been shopping for Asian food in so long, like this is gonna be our first time. So I'm excited to have that back in my pantry because we need our kimchi. Let's go to the Asian market. I wanna see if they have like Indonesian food. I need them, I need them bad. We've been trying to be good with saving money. So we got these like recyclable coffee cups and straws. We started just making our own coffee instead of buying them outside. So we just make them before we go out and it's been amazing. I used to get a coffee every day, it's about 10 bucks a day at least. Jazz music is on, Brutus is in the room. We're good to go. Whatever, Brutus. Well, I've been dreaming of going to an Asian market for like two months. And we're finally here, it feels like real. The Asian market was obviously super exciting for me. You guys who live in Asia, don't take these things for granted. Asian grocery stores are like gold mines. Really? Get a bunch. We have a happy boy right here. Not gonna lie though, I went a little crazy there. We bought way more than we needed, but hey, we'll probably end up eating it all in a week. It feels so good to go to an Asian market after not going for two months, because obviously I'm Asian. So seeing all these foods, oh my god, it makes me feel like at home again. And obviously Max loves it because he's a rice queen, so he I loves 
I beg your pardon, sir. He likes Asian boys and Asian culture. Yep, exactly. I like your bouquet of oh, vegetable. <laughs> After that, we invited Arnaud and his fiance David over to our place for a bit of pool time. Yay! Pool day with the boys! So we got this big bag. I'm not sure what this is, but it was right by the register and people seem to be picking it up. And there's this guy. And he's cute. So normally the pool is actually close to visitors, but there's no one here, so what's the harm? I didn't feel like swimming today just because I've just been so tired from the whole day, just like walking around. But it's nice to have friends over. It's been a while since I've like hung out with anyone. Man, I really, really hope this is all gonna be over soon. Soon's gonna be like a bad dream. <laughs> and no one's gonna remember anything. <laughs> 